Good morning. Obviously, my name is Mary Lacey. I'm the elected district attorney for the 20th Judicial District. There are a few people that look tired out there this morning, and there are a lot of people that look tired back here. You guys have been working pretty hard overnight. As you are now aware, John Mark Carr, 41 years old, was arrested for the murder of John Benet Ramsey yesterday morning at approximately 6 a.m. in Bangkok, Thailand. Mr. Carr was living in Bangkok. He began his employment as a second grade teacher in the international school system in Bangkok on Tuesday morning of this week. Mr. Carr has traveled extensively since leaving the United States several years ago. The district attorney's office, in conjunction with many other law enforcement agencies, have spent the past few months locating, identifying, and finally yesterday arresting Mr. Carr. Much work has been done in those efforts. There is much more work to be done now that the suspect is in custody. Our preference, you might guess, would have been to continue to work out of the public eye. That obviously is not possible. You all have many questions that you want answered. John Carr is presumed innocent. We are rightfully constrained by the code of professional conduct and the presumption of innocence from answering those questions that you want answered this morning. What I can tell you in a generic sense is that in all serious cases, we work hard with law enforcement not to make an arrest until the investigation is substantially complete. That optimal situation best protects the rights of the suspect. There are circumstances that can exist in any case which mandate an arrest before an investigation is complete. The primary reason for that is public safety. A secondary reason is fear of flight. In short, exigent circumstances can drive the timing of an arrest. I am not commenting on the particular nature of this investigation or arrest. There's a great deal of speculation and a desire for quick answers here. We should all heed the poignant advice of John Ramsey yesterday. He said, do not jump to conclusions, do not jump to judgment, do not speculate. Let the justice system take its course. I'm asking you this morning, let us do our job thoroughly and carefully. The analysis of the evidence in this case continues on a day by day, on an hour by hour basis as we speak. You can surely imagine the logistical difficulty of conducting an international investigation of this nature, particularly when their day is our night and our night is their day. Our role in the investigation of John Bonet's murder has been to follow up on all legitimate leads that have been received from law enforcement and from concerned citizens. There have been many particularly around dates of interest such as anniversaries. John and Patsy Ramsey have cooperated fully with each and every request we have forwarded to them. Knowing much about the case, I mean, it's good that they've eventually caught up with somebody and uh, the system of justice actually works and uh, hopefully that they bring the guy to justice. I think it's great they made an arrest, but I'm a little confused. It doesn't seem like he was in Boulder at the time, so... <laughs> I was, when I read the paper this morning, I was a little confused about what evidence they have and whether or not their arrest will stick, but hopefully it will. I don't know, it's pretty surprising after, you know, 10 years that they finally found somebody and, you know, that, uh, I just thought it was interesting how the guy's kind of in Thailand or whatever. I, I haven't really got into the whole thing yet, but 
it seems pretty uh, pretty crazy, you know. They're here the whole time. They're blaming the you know parents and stuff a lot. And, you know, when they finally find this other guy, I don't know. Some feel like somebody's probably putting their foot in their mouth a little bit, you know. <laughs> John Ramsey is presumed innocent. John Mark Carr is presumed innocent. I cannot comment past that.